Hey, what up guys? We're heading out to a Jack Nicholas design course. This is Coyote Creek in Morgan Hill. This is the tournament course. They have two 18s, a valley course and a tournament course. Uh, this is the first time that I've ever vlogged the tournament side. So let's go out there and see how I did. All right, hole number one, very straightforward. There is a creek that's up ahead, but it's pretty hard to get there in the morning if it's cold. So yep, as you can see, I just ended up short of it. The second shot I pulled to the left hand side. I wanted to be short of the trap, but I end up right into the middle of it. And the sand traps are pretty good here at Coyote Tournament Course. So I just barely landed it on and couldn't ask for a better result, even though it rolled maybe like 20 feet past the hole. So here is my putt attempt for my par. Try to get my sandy par. Leave it pretty short. You know, still trying to get a feel for the greens in the morning. And here I just clean up for my bogey. So one over through one head into the next hole. All right, next up, straightforward par three. Just don't miss it left or you're gonna be in a world of hurt. Uh, this one I ended up being short and right, which is fine. A tough little chip coming up for my second shot. I just didn't want to be short and roll off to the right. So end up being long, hit it towards my friend and it starts rolling backwards off of the uphill slope. Uh, so at least I have a, par, a putt for my par coming up. So here's the par putt attempt. Greens were rolling pretty good that day. And yeah, just missed that one off and to the right. So I'm two over through two. All right, next up is a par five. That's a little long. I end up hitting this one really high in the air, but it's in the center of the fairway, so I have no complaints. On the second shot, there is a creek that you have to contend with, so you can either go for it and go over or be short and lay up. And I ended up laying up. And unfortunately, I have a tree between me and the green. So I'm trying to cut it around this tree, end up just blocking it and being short. Uh, and now I have to chip on just to try to get up and down for my par. So didn't want to be short, end up being really long, but hey, I'll take that over the sand trap that's in front of me. It stayed up on this hill, and here's my chip. And yeah, I'm just praying that, you know, it stays, but, you know, not much you can expect from a downhill chip like that. So I'm just glad I have some kind of putt and look for bogey. Yeah, and just burn the edge. So unfortunately, just tap that in for a double bogey. Now I'm four over. All right, next up is another par five. This one is a lot shorter. End up hitting this with a little cut up the left hand side. And now I have a really short one to get onto the green and under regulation. Unfortunately, I just chunked this one and I end up being short and right in the sand trap. So I gotta get out and just get on just to get a good birdie look. And I get way too under it and I just stick it into the side of the hill. So here's my chip to get on. I just wanna get up and down for par. And yeah, I end up burning it by. And so now I have a decent one for my par. And here's the par look. And yeah, just hit the edge. So I end up getting another bogey five over. All right, coming up is a par three here. Hole number five, pretty good views. Uh, hit this one into the center of the green. And I'm finally on in regulation, looking at a birdie putt. So here's the birdie attempt. And yeah, this was just a terrible putt. It wasn't doing what I thought it was going to do. And so I have a decent length putt for my par. But yeah, unfortunately, I just drained this one. So finally back on track, got a par here. All right, next up is a dog leg left. And then the second shot, you have to contend with the creek. I barely make it shorter this trap any longer. I might have been in it. And here's my next shot. I chunk it and I go straight into the sand trap. So playing out of the sand quite a bit today. Here's my sand shot. Got lucky that I actually just hit it off the bottom of the club. Uh, didn't get any dirt, but it ends up spinning back ever so slightly off of the hill. And here's the par attempt. And I didn't hit it enough. So another bogey, six over. For this shot, I don't know what I was doing. I just chunked a pitching wedge. And unfortunately, now I'm in this unkept, ungroomed uh, grass area below this tree. And so as you can see here, I'm just happy that I got onto this green and you know, it ends up being really, really good. So I'm scrambling pretty well and I have a decent look for a par here. So here's the par putt. And yeah, zoom that one by. It's not good. I won't, don't want to give this to myself. And so I just end up cleaning this up for bogey, but happy to get a bogey from that position under the tree. All right, next up is a pretty cool hole. You don't always have to take driver here as long as you're in the middle or the left-hand side. If you fade it, you're gonna have a longer next shot into the hole. So uh, here's my next shot, pop it up, and I end up being way short of this trap here. And so I have a tough chip onto the green and all of this junk. So pretty much here's my shot. 
end up hitting it way too hard and over the green. And so I have to chip on and try to one putt just to save bogey. So here is my chip. Actually pretty happy with it. I thought it was going to break more towards the hole, but it broke away from the hole. And here's my bogey attempt. Yeah, and I'm draining it. So very happy with the bogey here. All right, next up, pretty straightforward par four. Hit a little bit of a Healy cut, so it didn't go all that far. So I have a long second shot. Uh, and so this one is kind of funny because I end up slipping and pulling the ball to the left. I'm just glad I made contact and I sh hit it up there. And now I have a really tough look into the green for my up and down. Uh, as you can see, I'm right behind this trap. And I have to barely land it on. And that's what I do. So it ends up being a really good shot. And this is all I have left for my par putt. And then, yeah, I got up and down from a really tough spot after a shady second shot. All right, the 10th fairway here is nestled up against the first fairway of the valley course. I end up pulling this one a little bit to the left, so I'm in the other fairway. I just take out my club real quick and hit it up and try to get it in the general direction of the hole. Couldn't really see. End up being in this trap, and unfortunately, could barely get out of this trap. And so I'm just trying to get up and down just to save my bogey. So I get it close enough to where I don't have that long of a putt. So here's my bogey putt attempt. End up draining that, picking up the bogey. But you're going to want to stick around for this next crazy hole. And what I mean by crazy is blow up. So this is a shorter par 4. Uh, you can be aggressive and try to go for it. I uh, wouldn't recommend it based upon my experience on this hole. So I end up being in these trees. I want to punch it out safely. It hits the curb of the cart path and kicks straight to the right. So now I have to punch out. I'm glad to punch out. And so all I have to do is chip over this sand trap and I should be fine. I get too cute with it and it ends up plugging into the lip. So after it plugs up, I'm just happy I got it out of the sand trap. Pretty much impossible to advance. End up chipping it on here. And at this point, I'm just like, please get me off of this hole. Uh, I have now a putt for triple here, which I miss. And so I end up picking up a quadruple bogey after hitting that uh, curb on that car path. All right, after feeling disgruntled after that hole, I just take my driver out and luckily just get it down the center, get a good feeling of a good golf swing under my belt, and hit it to the middle of the fairway. Then I take my super hybrid out, just advance the ball straight down the fairway, feeling pretty good now. So here's my uh, gap wedge that I hit. I just want to get into the center of the, uh, of the green, which I do, and now I'm on the green in regulation, and I have a good look at birdie. So here's about like a 25, 30 footer. And look at this, coming back after a quadruple bogey to get a birdie. Feels pretty good. So a lot of these holes on the tournament course are pretty open. Same with the valley side as well. So driving the ball fairly well today for how forgiving the fairways are. Uh, this next shot, end up just chunking it ever so slightly. And so I'm short and right of the green. So just don't want to hit into the sand trap coming up here and get it onto the green, but hit it way too hard and it ends up rolling down the hill way past the hole. So I have a decent length putt just to save my par here. So here's the par attempt. And as you can see, that's the that's the hill that it rolled down so, so far away. Almost make that, but hey, just tapping in for an easy bogey. 13 over at this point. All right, coming up on a par three that has a lot of wind. So I end up clubbing up and just trying to hit a punch shot. It ends up fading on me, which I'm not used to doing. And so it ends up being short into the right. So here's my chip, just barely hit it on, and it ends up rolling pretty close. I thought it would be almost going in. And then here's my par putt, and I clean this up for par. So just a little bit of a spoiler here, we're going to go on a pretty decent run. All right, the 15th hole is a dog leg right. I end up hitting it straight ahead and with a little bit of a draw, so I end up making the hole a little bit longer. So here's my second shot. I take out my 3-iron hybrid, my utility iron. And it ends up hitting the front of the green and it ends up rolling up. So I'm on the green, but I have a really long look for my birdie. So I can see I'm far off into the distance. It's an uphill putt, and I thought I was going to get pretty close. End up putting it, you know, three feet by, just tapping that in for another par. So par, par, getting pretty happy about that. All right, All right coming up next is a long par four. If there's a lot of wind, it can make it even longer. And I'm just fading this one off to the right, so I have a decent length shot for my second shot into the green. So I just take, I think, a five iron here, end up fading it ever so slightly onto the green. So I'm on the green in regulation, and I have a birdie look. So here is the birdie putt. And yeah, not a good stroke. I ended up leaving it short and didn't play the correct break. 
So I have to just clean this up for my par. And I'm making that. So the par train continues. All right, next up is a cool par five, probably the signature hole here on the tournament course. Uh, pretty much the green is surrounded by water. And uh, yeah, but if you play fairly safe, it's a pretty easy hole. So this second shot, I ended up just laying up to the right hand side. And now I have a short 110 yards or so shot into the green. So played it very safe, just played for the center of the green. And I hit the middle of the green. And so I have a look for birdie. So here's the birdie putt. And yeah, just made it pretty easy on myself. Easy par, no complaints there. All right, coming up is a kind of tough finishing hole. You got water all the way up the right-hand side, all the way to the hole. Uh, I kind of drop kick this ball, but it ends up going very straight, so I'm very happy with that. Second shot, get a little bit nervous of the water and pull it to the left-hand side past the hole above the pin, and so I have to chip on uh, just to get up and down for the par. Now, you can't really see here, but I end up hitting a pretty good chip, uh, and so I have like a short maybe three or four footer for my par. And yeah, end up draining it there. End up 13 over for the day on a huge par train. Gotta love it. All right, as you can see, had a pretty rough front nine, had a blow up hole in the back nine, but ended on a large par train. So very happy with that. And yeah, the tournament course is a great course. Uh, I think it's one that really tests your game. Um, so if you shoot well there, I think you could be a pretty good player. Um, so other than that, hope you guys enjoy that one. Keep chasing, and I'll see you in the next one.